Hey everyone, welcome to another video in our beginner guide series. In this video, we'll be exploring the challenging discipline of cross country in Rival Stars horse racing. I'll let you know how this mode works and give you tips and tricks to help you become a cross country champion. As if becoming a champion horse racer wasn't enough, you can also put your skills to the test in cross country mode. Your cross-country instructor, Kay Swiftwater, is here to set you missions and help you on your way. There might even be some competition in your future. But first, let's go through some of the basics now. Training up stats is key in cross-country. All stats are important in this mode, but the most important three are Speed, how fast a horse can run. Agility, how tightly they can turn. And Jump how much sprint energy is returned after perfecting a jump. You can improve a horse's stats by getting experience on the course, then training them in the training center. Each cross-country course has level requirements, so make sure your horses are trained up to give yourself the best chance of topping the leaderboard. There are plenty of different courses to tackle, including those on your own ranch, and even some in scenic Switzerland. Every cross-country course has a gold, silver and bronze medal to win based on where you place in the leaderboard. In the PC version, you can also compete with other players on the global leaderboards. Your final time is based on the time it takes for you to complete the course, plus added time for any penalties you get from making an error. Let me show you how penalties work and how to avoid them. As you approach a jump, make sure you are as straight onto the fence as possible, otherwise you might miss the jump and receive penalty points. A missed jump means 20 penalty points, so look ahead to the flags that will guide you into your next jump at the correct angle. You can also use the slow button to help you nail those tight turns while you're still working on your horse's agility. In addition to a precise angle, you'll also need to be going fast enough to clear the jump. Approach too slowly and your horse will refuse to jump, landing you 20 penalty points. So make sure you use the sprint button to speed up as you approach. Don't worry, your sprint meter will recharge when you make a successful jump. Each course has an optimal time which you should aim to beat. 0.4 penalty points are given for every second over the optimal time. So try to take an efficient path and use the sprint button wisely. Thanks for joining me in this beginner guide to cross country and rival stars horse racing. Keep training and practicing those jumps and you'll be a champion in no time. What are your beginner tips for cross country? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more guides and to see what's coming in the next update.